number 73, the distance of one mile and one sixteenth, is the second division of the plate trial stakes for three-year-olds bold in Canada and eligible for the 100th running of the Queen's Plate. years of training and preparation, the pick of Canadian bred three-year-olds are brought together for a final weeding out, one week before they compete in the oldest annual race in North America. today has brought that closer to the crown of Canadian racing. The trials and the training are over. In six days, he'll run for the plate, and on this, its 100th anniversary, he'll run in the presence of the Queen. The term plate began in British racing. It was King Charles II who made the first royal gift of a silver plate to the winner of a race at Newmarket. During the reign of King George I, the plate was replaced with the now traditional gift of 50 guineas, but the term plate remained. One-day meetings of horse racing were popular in 19th century Canada, sparked by the British military stationed in the young colony. In 1859, Queen Victoria was petitioned by the Toronto Turf Club to grant a plate for an annual race in Ontario. Her Majesty granted the petition, and the first race was run outside Toronto in 1860. The race itself changed little, but styles changed as one generation gave way to the next. Down through the years, the gift of 50 golden guineas was presented by succeeding governors general. The first reigning monarch to see the race was King George VI. The year was 1939, and it was the 80th running of the plate. For Archworth, it was no contest. Breaking from an outside position, he quickly gained command and set a bristling pace. Opening his lead in the back stretch and widening it still further in the stretch, he romped home an easy winner. For his owner, the late George McCullough, it was an unforgettable moment. For all present, a memorable event. A racehorse begins life on a breeder's farm, usually in late winter and almost invariably late at night. vigil is kept over the mare in the last hours. When the moment arrives, professional calm surrounds the event.
except for short rests or when sick, hurt, or during foaling. The mare usually lies down to give birth so that the foal will not fall. Without assistance, this unusual standing birth would have ended in injury or death to the newborn. becomes a two-year-old and reaches his first racing year. At 
this point, the trainer has one big question. How fast can he run? Next, the young horse goes to school. Down in one corner of the track, where they won't interfere with the older horses, the starter positions the starting gate. Then, with great care and patience, the young horses are introduced to the gate. in a hurry. A frightened horse at this stage could become a bad post horse and give a lifetime of trouble. After standing for a moment in the gate, they walked slowly out and around again. the starter prepares them for the real business, the start. More school and then some select races and his second year is complete. If he still shows promise, on the morning of the big day, he may find himself in this sort of company. Winning Shot, owned by Mr. J.S. Evans, winner of the second division of the plate trial stakes and winter book favorite to win the 100th running of the plate. New Providence, winner of the cup and saucer stakes for two-year-olds. Major Flight, owned by Mr. Con Smythe, and winner of the third division of the Plate Trial Stakes. All the care and supervision, all the years of grooming and training have been for this moment. They're ready now to run for the Queen's Guineas, to run in the Queen's Plate. have been filling since early morning. For today is not just this year's run for the guineas. Today is the 100th running of this annual Canadian Classic. And today, for the second time since Queen Victoria established the race, a reigning sovereign will present the Royal Guineas.
third chop, Blind Gray and the Mohawk on the extreme outside. As they come past the grandstand for the first time, it's Page Service leading by ahead with Steve Page on the inside. Brown Panther is now third on the outside with Chapa Main fourth. Dale Geo is fifth. Flying Gray is sixth. The Mohawk seventh on the outside. And around the clubhouse turn, it's Page Service holding on to that lead with Brown Panther on the outside. Flying Gray is now third with Dale Geo fourth. Steve Page fifth. The Mohawk sixth. Mr. Rooster is 8th on the outside with Chapa Bay 9th. New Providence is 10th. Sunday Sale is 11th. Winning shot is 12th. That's Brown Panther now moving up to take over the lead by two lengths with Flying Gray 2nd. Chatter moving up on the outside along with New Providence and Theo Geo along the inside. Moving around the far turn, it's now Flying Gray in the center with New Providence on the outside. Brown Panther is 3rd. Mr. Rooster is now 4th. The Mohawk is 5th. And here comes winning shot on the outside. That's New Providence going to the front now by a length with Mr. Rooster second. Flying Gray is third. Winning shot is now fourth. They come into the stretch. New Providence is in front by about three lengths. Winning shot is second. Mr. Rooster is third. Major flight now moving up on the outside. That's New Providence holding on to that lead by about three or four lengths. With Major flight winning shot on the outside. Sunday sail in the center. And here they come to the finish.